The Cottontail Kingdom buzzed with excitement as Princess Blossom prepared for her annual pink parade. Known throughout the land for her extravagant parties and her penchant for all things rosy, the young rabbit princess spent weeks orchestrating every detail of the celebration. On the morning of the event, Blossom donned her most prized possessions, a pair of bejeweled pink sunglasses and a multi-layered pearl necklace adorned with a golden medallion. She wrapped herself in a fluffy pink boa, its feathers tickling her whiskers as she admired her reflection. Perfect, she whispered, twitching her nose with satisfaction. Outside, a sea of pink awaited her. Thousands of rabbits from every warren in the kingdom had gathered, each sporting various shades of pink in honour of their beloved princess. Some had dyed their fur, while others wore elaborate hats or carried pink parasols. Blossom's heart swelled with joy as she took her place on the royal float, a giant pink cupcake pulled by a team of albino hares. With a wave of her paw, the parade began, winding through the flower-lined streets of Hopsburg. Children cheered and tossed pink confetti as the procession passed. Blossom blew kisses to her adoring subjects, her glasses glinting in the sunlight. Everything was going perfectly until a commotion erupted near the back of the parade. A group of rebel rabbits, led by Blossom's cousin Slate, had infiltrated the celebration. They carried signs protesting the excess of pink and the frivolity of the princess's reign. More greens, less pink, they chanted, waving carrots in the air. Blossom's whiskers drooped. She had always known some rabbits disapproved of her parties, but to see it so openly displayed on her special day was heartbreaking. For a moment, she considered retreating to the palace. But then she remembered the words of her late grandmother, the wise Queen Cottonpuff. A true leader listens to all her subjects, even those who disagree. Taking a deep breath, Blossom signaled for the float to stop. She hopped down and approached Slate and his followers, her pink sunglasses glinting with determination. Cousin, she said, her voice carrying across the suddenly hushed crowd. I hear your concerns. Perhaps we focus too much on celebrations and not enough on the needs of all our people. I invite you and your friends to join me at the palace tomorrow. Let's discuss how we can make our kingdom not just pink, but vibrant with all colors. Slate's ears perked up in surprise. He hadn't expected the princess to listen, let alone invite them to the palace. Slowly, he nodded in agreement. A cheer erupted from the crowd, louder than before. As Blossom returned to her float, she saw smiles on faces that had previously frowned. The parade resumed, but now with a new energy, one of unity and hope. That night, as Blossom hung up her pink boa, she smiled to herself. Tomorrow would bring challenges, but also opportunities. The Cottontail Kingdom would evolve, becoming stronger and more colourful than ever before. And at its heart would still be a princess who loved pink parties, but who loved her people even more.